Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the higher. Everybody, praise the higher one more time. Praise the higher from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann in Yesaya the Christ, Yesaya the Messiah. Yesaya of Nazareth, if you want to know why I call God a higher and the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yesaya. I've done a video concerning that one. Greetings. Greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yashahel. Yashahel is the name given to Jacob. Jacob's name was not changed to Israel. The proper name is Yashahel. So I greet all the Hebrew Yashahelites scattered to the four corners of the earth all over. In the diaspora, I greet you all in the matchless name of our soon coming King, Yeshua the Christ. And to the beautiful body of Christ, the church, whom our great King, just excuse me, brothers and sisters, whom our great King is coming back far without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. I greet you all. In the matchless name of our soon coming King, Yesaya the Christ. All right. You can skip this bit and find the main message. I am going to do some housekeeping. Remember my name, Sister Carrie Ann. It is in solid gray border with a tick by the side of my name. Anybody else pretending? <clears throat> to be me is a wicked, dirty devil. <laughs> you need to rebuke and report them. Please watch a video to the end. There's a sinner's prayer there for you. We want you into the kingdom of a higher. Amen. Thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for going in the comment section and communicating with the brothers and sisters. Ahaya bless you. And thank you for those of you brothers and sisters who have been faithful in blessing me through PayPal and even on this platform by hitting the thanks button. Thank you so very, very, very much. I appreciate it. <clears throat> it's been a real help in my life. All right. We are near, we're not only near to the returning of the beautiful Messiah, Yesaya the Christ. <clears throat> Sorry, brothers and sisters. But we're also near to the revealing of the lawless one, the dirty Antichrist, brothers and sisters. Daniel. Daniel chapter 7. And verse 25 tells us that Satan, through the Antichrist, will seek to change times, laws, and seasons. It will be given to him. This world will become lawless. Yesaya says, pray to be what? Found worthy. To escape these things, brothers and sisters, because it's going to be so bad. No Holy Spirit is going to be in the land. Yes, there's going to be a spirit, but it's a fake spirit. It's a kundalu, it's a wicked spirit, demonic spirit. Not the Holy Spirit, I'm telling you. Yes, I says, pray to be found worthy to escape these things coming upon the earth. And I believe the escape he's talking about is the woman in Revelation 12. The woman in Revelation 12 represents the, uh, the fleeing of the people into the wilderness the hebrew yeshalite the woman has 12 stars on her head representing the 12 scattered tribe that went through the transatlantic slavery ahaya has promised to regather his people the jewels of the earth he is going to regather and um and so yes the woman represents the second exodus and then the sixth seal opened after the second exodus that is yesaya Coming back in the clouds of glory. With a prophetic theme song called We Are Near. So prophetic banners called We Are Near. Prophetic theme song We Are Near. Song goes like this. How near you are, near you are, near you are, near. How near you are, near you are, oh near you are, near. Hallelujah. Yes, we are near. We can sing that song with right confidence. All right, I have two ministries, isn't it, brothers and sisters? One for the end time prophetic ministries and one for the Hebrew Yashahelites. All right, so uh, this is an end time prophetic video. So I want to do this video because sometimes when my mom tells me visions and she said to me, share, because she knows that I have the YouTube going on, isn't it? And she'll say, share this, right? And sometimes, you know, it's not for me to determine or try to decipher what it means. I need to just share and leave it there, all right? So, my mom had this very, very powerful vision. It wasn't long. My mom's visions are not, they're not long, brothers and sisters. It's quite short and to the point, really and truly. Um, but she had a vision, the ending of August. 2023 and in this vision she saw a group of people that was standing and she said these people was then divided into two groups all of a sudden so everybody bungled up together you don't know who is who or whatever 
she was saying everybody's together and then all of a sudden it's like the group was split into half and she said on one side they were wearing full white and then the other side they were in black jet black clothing and she wanted me to share this with the body of Christ because I, I do believe that it is significant I do believe that it has meaning because you know if you even if you take I think it's St. Matthew 10 with the, with the virgins five were wise and five were foolish isn't it you can look at it like that brothers and sisters five foolish virgins five are wise and five are foolish now you might say well sister Karen who's the foolish one and who's the wise one well what does white represent in the bible because white represents purity when you see what David said wash me that I may wash me with isop that I may be whiter than snow alright um, so white, the color white, the color white, all right, um, represents purity. It represents um, holiness. It represents righteousness when you're wearing white, the color white. I'm not talking a nation. And some people, anyways, yeah, that's another story, ain't it? Because these people twist the word of the most time because the Bible talks about white. You know, some people believe that the color or the nation white represents purity. Not true. We're not talking about people. We're talking about color clothing. The clothing of our color. All right. And so she saw this and she knew straight away that this represents the wheat from the tears. The virgins um, splitting into half. The wise virgins from the foolish virgins. So there's going to come a separation. But as I was listening to her brothers and sisters. Because you see I know that the second exodus is at the door. So everything that I do and stuff like that. I incorporate with the second exodus. Because we are not far off. This, this thing is, is, is close. Very very close. Closer than you think. And... I put this vision as well, liken it to the second exodus. Because not everybody is going to make it in the second exodus. It's only those who have been paying attention. Because the truth of the matter is, some of the Hebrew Yeshahelites that has not been paying attention will stay in Babylon. Because they love Babylon. And they love the... the, the yeah. So, there's a separation... There's a separation that is coming, brothers and sisters. Massive separation. Massive separation that is coming. Um, so, um, sorry, brothers and sisters. Right, so, d just a couple of the verses. I like to read King James Version. Read. I don't think this is King James Version, but a couple of the verses concerning white clothing, because this is very significant. When you, whenever you get visions or dreams or revelation in white, or you see somebody in white or yourself in white, please take notice. Don't just, it's just another, no, take notice of the color. The, this, the, the vision that my mom had, extremely significant. And that's why she says to me, share it with the, with the body of Christ. She said, share it for me. So that's what I'm doing. But Bible says that let your clothes, or your garment be white all the time and let not oil be lacking on your head so the white let your clothes be white all the time it's not you know the bible is not physically saying oh go out and wear white every single day of your life you can if you want to if you choose to wear white all the time that's absolutely fine but i believe that in this reference where the bible says that this is ezekiel I'm sorry not ezekiel Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 9 verse 8, right? When the Bible says that, um, let your garment be white all the time. This is more of a spiritual meaning. Because like I say, white represents purity, it represents righteousness, it represents holiness, right? 
Daniel 7 verse 9. This is a very interesting one. Bible reads, I kept looking until thrones were set up and the ancient of days took his seat. His vesture was like white snow. Again, what? Again, here is it, brothers and sisters. Pay attention to the vision of my mom. She had the vision. The Lord showed her a group of people, not separated. And I'm repeating myself, but that's how I do my videos, all right? <laughs> a group of people bungled up together. Then all of a sudden, a separation came. One set was wearing full white. Other set was wearing black. That is a deep vision, brothers and sisters. And like I'm reading from the scriptures, saying that, Daniel says that I kept looking until the thrones were set up and the ancient of days took his seat and his vesture, watch this, his vesture was like white snow, his clothing. Brothers and sisters, those of you who live in foreign countries and you see snow, when snow falls, I mean, I just this I wash this really and truly in some uh, bleachy stuff to get to make it come white, <laughs> right? But for those of us who know snow, when snow falls and you look through your window or you even go outside, it is so bright. Literally, I mean, when the snow settles on the floor and you stand in that and you're looking all the way around, it is so. It's it has a bright glow to it is you know and that's why the bible <clears throat> refers to us um being white as snow washing our sins away but daniel said it's clothing a higher the ancient of days clothing watch this was like white snow hear this and the hair on his head like pure wool this is daniel seeing a higher now let me just stop right here i'm not talking about this but i just want to point it out which nation have woolly hair which nation has wool woolly hair bible saying this is what daniel is saying and his hair of his head the hair on his head is like pure wool pure wool brothers and sisters which nation this is a higher that Daniel, the ancient of days, he's describing. Which nation of pure wool, woolly head, woolly hair, woolly hair, rather. Hallelujah to the Lamb that slain before the fall. Don't let these Eurocentric people fool you, brothers and sisters. All these white Jesus, you see them up there. This is European Christ. This is not the Bib. If, if these people were true, they would have painted because there's a description of Ahaya um, in the Bible. There's a description of him. It's, it's right there in Revelation. It's right there in Daniel. But they refuse, they rather paint him blonde hair, blue eye, and all of that. And it's wicked, it is wrong, because that is not his description. You need to come away from Eurocentric Christianity. You really do. And start believing what the word of the Most High says. So Daniel said, I saw him, the ancient of days. And his hair is like pure, pure wool. Which nation have woolly hair? The Negroes, black people. Our hair is woolly, brothers and sisters. And this is why a lot of black people get a lot of fighting in their workplace. Can't go to work with their hair certain ways, this and that. I read something the other day of this little kid in Texas. He's got, I think he's got dreadlocks, but he, you know, plait it up and put it in a little bob um bun so it doesn't fall down and they expel him from the school saying that his hair goes it's too long but his hair is all in one always fighting against our hair you have to take notice why do they fight against our hair why always remember that there's a why to it there's a why to it all right because we have the king's hair that's all it is so that's white. Um, well, the, the vesture is clothing is white, right? Said Matthew says, and he was transfigured before them, and his face shone like the sun, and his garment became as white as light. The vision of my mom got concerning the white clothing and the black. It is truth. 
I believe that the black clothing rep represents darkness. Those are those people she saw that was lost. So right now in this dispensation, in this dispensation, we are bungling up together. Wheat and tears, everybody bungling, bungling up. You know, if you don't have the spirit of discernment, you 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 cannot discern who is the righteous from who is the wicked, because the wicked mimics the righteous. And you look and think, oh. Hallelujah, they're right. No, it's a form of godliness, but they deny the power of Yesiah thereof. So everybody is together. We're all bungle, bungle up, brothers and sisters, but there's coming a reckoning. I'm telling you, this is a higher is going to do a separation. It is coming. And when the separation comes, people are going to know the truth. People are going to know the true righteous um nation of Ahia they're going to know because Isaiah chapter 60 says arise shine come on now why for your light has come and the glory hallelujah the glory of Ahia is risen upon you how is it that the glory of Ahia will be risen on you you have to be separated there has to be a separation it doesn't matter if you still bungle, bungle up with everybody. Don't matter, but your light will shine. There is going to come a time when people are going to look and say, Oh my days, something is different about this person. It is going to happen. Why clothing is very important, brothers and sisters. Matthew said, And his garments became white as light. Luke chapter 9 and while he was praying the appearance of his face is the same thing isn't it they became his clothing became white and gleaming they were glistening sparkling some of us are gonna sparkle some of us will sparkle our clothing will sparkle I started wearing white and people mock because they don't understand. Oh, she's always in white. Oh, she does her videos in white. Why does she wear white? But I didn't start it off wearing white. For those of you who know me from back in 2015 when I started the ministry, the prophetic ministry, I was wearing different colors. I would come in different, also different color. And I believe it's 2000 and... When was it? When did I start wearing white? Oh my God, I need to find that video actually. I believe it was 2000 and something. 2020? Is it 20, 2020? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Mm. 2020. Yes. Either late 2020 or early 2021, Ahaya began to speak to my heart. He just spoke to me. And he said, I want you to wear white. Just like that. He said, I want you to wear white. And I, you know... Because people don't understand, they think, oh, she's wearing white because she wants to look righteous. Or she wants to look holy. No. This is, this is an obedience. That's all it is. I don't put on white and think, oh, I'm looking holy. No, no, no. Huh. None of that. This is a literal obedience of the most High. Whether or not eventually he will take me into full complete white, where I wear white every day if I'm going to the shop is white, church, no, I don't go to church, but, um, well, well let, let's say church, if, if he take me to the church, to open up the eyes of the brothers and sisters, you must wear white, whatever, then I'll, then I'll obey. Entering the tomb, this is Mark, entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting at the right wearing a white robe here we go there's a separation brothers and sisters there's something about the color white in your visions mom saw it people are going to be separated and isaiah 60 is going to be in full fruition in full swing arise and shine for thy light has come and the glory of the most star is risen upon thee that scripture is truth hasn't been fulfilled yet but that scripture is 150% truth. Couple more and then I'm finished. This is John. And she saw two angels white in, in, in white sitting. This is the same as Mark. 
seen the angel and said, And as they were gazing, this is Acts chapter 1, and as they were gazing intently into the sky while he was going up, this is Yesaya ascending, right, back into heaven, and the disciples were gazing at him. Behold, two men in white <laughs> clothing. So listen to me. I know the wicked, they have these, you know, wicked stuff and they wear white and stuff like that. But what, you know, the color white, brothers and sisters, it represents holiness. And they're hanging of fine white and violet linen held by cords of the fine purple linen on silver rings and marble columns. Oh my days, I need to study this, you know. This is where the wicked get all these... <laughs> So all these ca ca castles and stuff like that, castles and like a Buckingham Palace and all these palaces all over the world. I know it's decked, you go into these palaces and it's decked out in gold and purple. They get it from the Bible. I'm telling you, this is Esther. Watch this. This is Esther chapter 1, verse 6. Bible says, listen to this, and there, listen, there were hangings. What's hanging? Like ornaments stuff, right? There were hangings of beautiful white and violet linen. Violet linen is like, what color is violet? Is it purpley or is it red? Something like that, right? Violet linen, so white and, and red linen held by cords on fine purple line on silver rings and marble columns what a beauty and coaches of gold coaches a sofa settee that you sit on sofa of gold and silver on a mosaic pavement of yes marble <laughs> this is deep you know this is esther one but it's not the king james version is it Oh, the Bible. So read, look this up, brothers and sisters. This is your homework. Esther chapter 1, verse 6. This is a description, obviously, of the kingdom at the time in Esther when she was um, queen at the time, right? But you see how the wicked take this from the Bible and build their kingdoms and their palaces with what's written in the word. Terrible, isn't it? Revelation 3. But you have a few people in Sardis who have not soiled their garments. And they will walk with me in white. Come on, O oh church, for they are worthy. Brothers and sisters, pay attention to your visions and dreams. That's why my mom said, please share this. It was very short vision. Extremely, but she, she wanted me to share it. So white, brothers and sisters, is very, very significant in the Bible. And it's, um, it represents holiness. It represents integrity. It represents purity. Not, fit, not only your physical clothing, but a spiritual white wash. When a higher wash you whiter than snow. What is whiter than snow? Nothing. Whiter than snow. Only the blood. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Yesiah. The vision is true. White. So there's a massive separation that is coming. Hallelujah. If I come to the end of the video, I leave the um I leave the sinner's prayer. I leave the sinner's prayer, brothers and sisters, in the description box or the pinned comment section. Let's say the benediction now unto him, Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise Isaiah, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen, 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 blessings. Amen.